This video is going to briefly discuss the use of the payment function or PMT function in Microsoft Excel. The PMT function is fairly easy to use and it'll tell you what regular payments on a loan amount will be given the number of periods you're going to pay off the loan and the interest rate for that loan. So you'll notice in this example that we've already entered some text labels and a few numbers and the $15,000 loan at 6.5 percent interest for four years so now we need to use our PMT or payment function to figure out what that monthly payment's going to be. Well there's several ways to enter that payment function if you know a little bit about the formulas you want you can actually just start typing with the equal sign and then PMT and you'll notice that it pops that up and says calculate the payment for a loan and if I uh, double click that it puts in the open parenthesis and then gives me the various arguments for that loan. So the PMT function wants you to give it the rate, the number of periods, and the present value or the loan amount of that loan. So you could just enter it this way but also if you click on the insert function button it'll give you a little bit more help for doing this particular function. So if I click the insert function button I can then basically say that I'd like to do a payment and in the search box here and just click go and then it pops up various functions that are related to payment and there's the PMT function and gives me a little tip at the bottom and I can click OK. Now this particular dialog box then sort of helps you by showing you each argument to the payment function in turn. So the very first one is the rate and it says right down it's the interest rate per period for the loan. So in this particular case we need to know how many periods we're going to have. Well, no, per period, I guess that's monthly. And yeah, we're making a monthly payment. So interest rate per period. Well, the interest rate's in cell B3. So if I click on B3, and that is the interest rate APR yearly. So that's a yearly rate with a monthly payment. So to convert that yearly interest rate to a monthly interest rate, of course, I'd have to divide that by 12, the number of months in a year. And it shows me then the number over here, which is much smaller than 6.5%, which makes sense. And in the next cell, that's the number of periods or the number of payments for my loan. And the number of payments for my loan is going to be indicated by the years, the number of years of my loan. And we're saying that we have four years, so I'm going to click on the cell B4 here, and that's four years. But because I'm paying monthly, I have 12 payments per year, so I have to multiply the number of years times 12 to get the number of actual payments I'm making. And finally, the present value of the loan is the amount of loan that I'm going to borrow. Now, in this case, we're just having a loan amount. There's no down payment or anything like that. So we're just going to enter the present value of that loan, which is that B2 value. Now, again, you'll notice that I'm entering cell references here. I'm not typing the actual values into my into my boxes here because later I'm going to maybe want to play around with this and say, well, what if I change it to a five-year loan, or what if I change the interest rate to 6% or something like that? I want to see what those payments would be. Now, the last two boxes on this uh, dialog here are not necessary. They're optional. Um, you can click in them, and they'll tell you what it is. They say the future value is at zero if you leave out this argument. So you're assuming you're paying off the entire loan. But if you were going to have a balance at the end of the payment period, you could put that future value in there. And then the type of the loan is simply are you paying at the beginning of the payment period or at the end of the payment period. And typically uh, you make a payment at the end of the period and so that's what it assumes for those values. So let's click OK and see what we get. So we got a negative number, uh, $355.72 and that's because we're making a payment. So that's money that we have to pay and that's why it's a negative value. If you wanted that number to be a positive value, it'd be a fairly simple matter to just click into the formula. Let's double click that cell and here's my formula again. And I could just put a minus sign right in front of the PMT there and that would give me a negative of a negative which would give me a positive number. Let's just go ahead and see what that does for us. So there's the positive number. So if we want to find out how much interest we're paying, we could actually add on to this situation to find out what the total amount 
that we're spending is. So let's just go ahead and add a couple things here. So we'll say total spending. And the total spending is, of course, going to be the number of payments times our payment amount. So we'll just put a formula here. It says equals the four years, and then we make a payment every month. So that's times 12, and then times the monthly payment amount. So there's our monthly payment amount. So we're spending a total of $17,000 plus dollars. And if we want to find out how much interest, of course, we're paying, the interest payment, total interest payment, let's say that total interest, then we simply have to do what? Well, we simply have to take the, um, the total we spent minus our loan amount. So let's go ahead and put a formula in for that. The total amount spent minus the loan amount. Again, notice we're just using the cell references here rather than typing in numbers. So the total interest paid was $2,074.77. Now another way that you can do this particular function is instead of trying to figure out how many payments and what the interest rate per month is, I'll just go to my second sheet here. We can actually add additional cells on our sheet to figure out what the monthly rate is. So if I want to figure out what the monthly rate is, of course, that would simply be taking the annual rate and divide it by 12. So I can just say equals, take the annual rate, the APR, divide that by 12, and there's my monthly rate right there. And I can do the same with the number of months in my loan. So I could say equals the number of years in my loan times 12, oops, to get the number of payment periods. And so in this case, the number of payment periods is 48. So this makes my monthly payment a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and just type this one in and see how that works. So we'll do equals PMT, open parentheses. And it wants the rate, that's the rate per payment. And so the rate for payment is in this monthly rate cell, comma. Then it wants the number of periods. And of course, now we've calculated the number of periods. It's right here in this cell click there, and then comma, and then the loan amount is in this cell. And we can close that parenthesis. And if we want to think about it right now, we could actually say, well, let's put the minus sign in at the very beginning of the PMT to make sure we get a positive value. And then we can hit enter, and there's our same payment amount. And again, if you wanted to play around with this, you can put in a new value. Let's say we're going to borrow $20,000 instead of 15, whoops, 20000 instead of 15. So $20,000 is 6.5% interest for four years is $474. Let's make that a five-year loan instead. So we'll go five years. So that's 60 payments, and we have to pay monthly now 391.32. Thank you.